Okay, today we're going to show plug welds. Uh, this is to duplicate a factory uh, spot weld that we, uh, you know, a lot of times you don't have the capability of getting the tongs around something, so you, you'll put a plug weld in to accomplish the same thing. Um, what I typically use is a letter A drill bit, um, drill through the outer layer. This is just a scrap I'm putting on there just for this test. Um, and a lot of times you'll have epoxy primer or weld through primer uh, in between the panels. So what I use for that, I've got another drill bit that I've flattened out and then back faced, uh, ground these sides off at an angle. Uh, that makes it mimic an end mill cutter. So when you put that in here, it'll clean off the adjacent panel and get rid of any paint. That'll give you a, uh, a good clean metal to metal for doing your weld. The next thing we want to look at is uh, when you go to start your weld, you can see that this has been welded before. It's got a, some discoloration there. Um, you want to trim that off to get a good clean uh, sharp edge that doesn't have the burnt residue on there and that way your weld is going to start easier. It'll arc across there a little bit better. Okay, um, that said, let's fire up the welder. We're going to trim this off. center to get the weld penetration or the weld adhesion started on the bottom panel first and then you kind of move it around the hole to fill it in. And there's your plug weld. Now, I've already got a video up on that shows how to grind these down, but uh, you can look that up for to show how to clean these up. But um, you're just going to take a cutoff wheel, grind down the bulk of it, and then clean up the rest with a roll lock sander. So that's that's all there is to the plug weld.